Madam President, I hadn't planned on speaking today, but I couldn't sit at my chair and let the comments of the previous speaker go unanswered. Because when my grandfather tried to enlist in the Army, they accepted him. When he said that he wanted to serve, he qualified to be a pilot and began training. And when they realized he was black and not white, they discharged him. So as you talk about racism, please don't lecture me. Please don't lecture my constituents. Please don't lecture people about racism if you've never had to deal with it. Because that's my reality. It's the reality I live with every day. And when I enlisted in the Army, I did so proud of my country. I did so to defend my country. I did so knowing that one day I may be called to serve, as many of my colleagues have. And as we talk about Democrat or Republican or time and space, Think about what we will do when we have an opportunity to stand. Are we talkers? Are we doers? Are we servants? Because when I had the opportunity, as every member of this chamber has, to raise my right hand and swear allegiance to this country to serve, I did. Because I believe fundamentally there are places we have a responsibility to go and things we have a responsibility to do. Don't lecture us about what that is or what that isn't if you haven't done the same. Because when you say 50% of people said they would or wouldn't, the US military is made up by less than 1% of our population. Less than 1% stand up to serve. And as we talk about the greatest threats that we have, our capital, our nation has been invaded on only a small number of opportunities. Last year, two years ago, as so we talk about January 6th, as we talk about these moments, that was a time where we could have stepped up, where we could say something, where we sent as a state more people to respond to January 6th than any other state. Because Michigander stepped up to defend this country. In the Civil War, who sent more troops? Nobody sent more troops than Michigan. Because when our country is under threat, Michiganders step up. Whether they be Republican or Democrat or Independent, People from this state care about our country. And we should remember that because the threat to this nation is not just coming from Russia. It is here. And the only stand that we can take, the only thing we can do to push back is to consistently stand with our nation, with our country, every opportunity we get. Not with Russia. Because what we remember is that President Zelensky was asking us to stand with him not just after he was invaded, but before. As the previous president was talking about military intervention and election fraud and all of those kind of things, it's important to remember who stood then and who is still standing today, who are talking about these issues. Because it's easy to wave the flag today. The question is, what are you willing to do? And which side do you stand on? Because the lines have been abundantly clear. And this Democrat, is proud that I raise my hand, that I serve every opportunity that I get. As a matter of fact, just having had my reserve weekend this past weekend. So as we think about who are out here serving in the front lines, it's us. As a proud Native American person, Native Americans serve in the highest space per capita. Black people serve higher than our population because we care about this country and because we know that we have an obligation to go places, to show up, and to be there, not to talk about it, but to do it. Madam President, I ask that my remarks be printed in the journal.